Hello everybody, really welcome to Alice Reviews. Thanks for joining me tonight. I was going to do a review on a brew dog beer, but when I went to the fridge for it, I noticed this one. Uh, I did promise my sister and the boyfriend, uh, since I brought it back from Cyprus for me, that I would review it. So I thought I'd better get it out of the way. So, uh, Andrew and Graham, thank you for bringing me this back. I really do appreciate it. So I bought me a Leon and a lovely, actually, branded glass. I really do like glass, actually. Glass is really nice. Uh, so it tells me it's Leon, it's got the little logo on there, it tells you on the back that um, I guess it's they start brewing it in 1937. This is 4.5% uh, ABV, he says hopefully. 4.5% ABV, yeah. I guess a few of you would have tried this uh, when you've been out there on your holidays and, and uh, that sort of thing. Um, popular out there in Cyprus, so I understand. I think it's supposed to be a little bit like a Pilsner. Should have done the old tapping, shouldn't I? Uh, I think it's a good little pilsner, so it should be okay. Uh, but it is a lager. Um, uh, they use lager and um, dark roast malts. So I'm hoping it should have that really nice uh, malty flavour that I really do like from my lagers. Uh, they use German hops. So I think the German hops grown in Cyprus. There you go. Little glass. A little bit of beer, we can always stop it up, can't we? So, um, beer in a glass. Not put as that as dark as I thought. It's poured a clear, well, clear straw colour, clear golden colour, with good carbonation and a good little white head. Looks good. Let's get a sniff to shall we? Ooh. It smells nice actually. Smells nice, like it might have something about it. Sweet, but uh, sweet malt, uh, bit of floral, bit of bit of citrus in there. Smells nice. Let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Not too bad. It has got a really nice multi flavour to it. Um, the brewery themselves they use um, water that comes from their own well and they soften it as well so it gives a nice soft feel to uh, the lager and it, it does feel nice and soft in the mouth. I think they use their own yeast as well. But it's nice, it follows the nose really. Um, it is tasty, it, there is a flavour of sweet malt in there. There's a little bit of floral coming through and just a little bit of um, fruitiness coming through. Really nice bitterness on the back end, so it's nicely hopped as well. 500 mil cam. I thought I spilled it up a few times. 500 mil cam. Bonus. It is really crisp and refreshing. I can just imagine being, being sat there in the Cypriot sun. Um, just cool yourself down. 4.5%. It's nice and sessionable. You could probably get away with drinking this all day and it not really affect you too much. I'm only taking it fairly easy. If you hammer it, you'll feel the effect. Well yeah, it's crisp. Like I say, it's um, refreshing, it's light, it is. Even on what is getting to be a darker uh, English day, it's still a really nice drink, still uh, really easy drinking. Bit of um, we said it's got nice bitterness, but just a little bit of fruit flavour. We got bitterness, it's um, bitterness is staying around, which is quite nice. It is like a 
European lager. It's better than a lot of European lagers, if I'm being honest. I would happily, I mean, I would happily drink that all day in Cyprus, absolutely no problem. And I would happily score that uh, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for managed beer views. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. More important, any of that, wherever you're drinking, please enjoy it. Until the next review, cheers, everybody.